Generals, gentlemen. Ah, uh, hello! Hello, my good friend, GameReplays.org. We are back, General gentlemen, back in this game between Evo Lancer as the uh, China Vanilla. Vanilla Lilia. And we have Whipix as the China Nuke. Whipix, I think we casted one of his games earlier, didn't we? I think we might have done, yeah. Excellent! Actually, yeah, should be good. Anyway, so we are back on the 1.4 official patch, and now we have a forward barracks coming out of uh, Whippix here. That's interesting. We might be going for an all cap of some kind, or maybe just grabbing these garrisons. It can be very important having these garrisons and preventing uh, harassment. Exactly right. We do see uh, two supplies going down, standard build here from Lancer, and whereas we're going to have the single so far from Whippix, both going for the standard command center. Yeah, build. it might go for a forward supply, perhaps. Yeah. That's, it's actually very effective because then you can, like, defend them with the garrisons, and then you can kind of, like, back expand to the third, and then you already have that third rolling, but it can be very hard to defend. We do see a war factory going up here now from Lancer up the top right. Maybe a um, whereas in the middle, double factory, yeah. perhaps. I think he might be going for that, and in the middle we have a war factory and barracks. Good, nice little combo here. He is going for the garrisons. Whip is oh, no. going to take control of that factory. middle now. We do see, yeah, we do see barracks coming down at the top. Double outpost, uh, the double factory outpost spam can be very effective against three supply openings because then it can be very hard to defend all three of them. But it doesn't look like he is actually going. No, going to go for a very defensive play on the left flank at the very least. Maybe I go for an oh an airfield. That's Fantastic. a cool move at the start there. Evo Lancer, you're amazing. I do like when people do crazy, crazy stuff, and airfield is definitely one of them. Um, one thing I didn't actually mention is this is a China mirror, and I love a China mirrors. China mirrors are amazing because I find there's a lot of a variation in terms of army compositions compared to other matchups where they can be a little bit one-sided in terms of what players do. Well, we but there is a super fast nuke battle master. That does is gonna die. Coming out right now, and we do see the yeah battle master is moving in now. It's to so go boned. after that dozer and we just see how it's so boned, buddy. coming in as well though behind it looks like it may actually trap off that that nuke um battle master but battle master is probably going to get there in time and destroy the dozer yeah that uh the outpost may be able to swoop around and actually cut it off but oh maybe the, even the helix Very can kill it there, but not in, no, time, in time i don't, I don't think. think yeah the app the battle master is going to do a great job there of taking out the dozer means one Ouch. dozer left for Lancer. Yeah, I think that's a pretty big deal for Lancer, not only having lost his dozer, but also having got that outpost there. Helix rather scouted. Yeah. The new Battle Master will completely destroy that outpost, yeah. but now the Helix has been scouted, so I think Lance, uh, Whippix knows it's coming, so we're probably going to see, you know, some Gatlings coming out here, yeah, two Gatlings. Yeah, two Gatlings having here, and that's going to be, that's really bad for our Lancer. It's really unfortunate that the airfield and the Helix was scouted. Especially now, because we have a bunker over there, bunker over here, so this uh, Helix is going to have to be very, very careful with its positioning, as it might get caught out of position and fall to the ground. We do see some mines coming out there on the airfield as well. A bit, gonna be a bit late. <laughs> battle master, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, he's actually boxed off those trucks, so they yep. will not be able to get sniped by these uh, nuke battle masters. The outpost will give good scouting information while it's cloaked on the right hand flank here. There's a fairly big move in now. We do see some, it's a GATS combined with RPGs. We do have a uh, listing outpost moving in as well now from Lancer. You might actually lose that, but here comes the Helix. It is full of RPGs, so we'll combined. Goes. Yeah, and if it's focusing, if the Gatlings are focusing that listing outpost, this could go well for him. Oh, no, they're getting no, focused the up, but he's too late. Now, so the, uh, the Helix. Helix looks like the Helix will actually, no, the Helix does oh, survive. barely survive. Barely survive. Survives. Uh, really unfortunate there for Whippix actually managing to take it down in time. We do see the nuke battle master moving in, doing some splash damage to take out some of those RPGs. I think uh, Whippix would have been out of this game had he actually lost that helix full of those RPGs. Now the power plant is um, barely staying alive as well, so yeah, Whippix yeah, is Whippix throwing away RPGs. Trying to just get the power, point, power plant down, but it's going to be unsuccessful there. And uh, so now Helix is actually getting repairs on that airfield, but it takes so long. Uh, Helixes just take such a very, very long time to actually regenerate their health on the airfield. A lot of times you see players getting a prop tower Helix just for the repairs. And the attack speed, it helps. But mainly it's repairs anyway. Exactly right. And we do have a lot of... Wivix has got a fair bit of map, and, um, it's got a map awareness and stuff like that. He's just sending in these nuke battle masters, but... Um, Lancer kind of has control of this middle. He looks like he's going to be just following that um, attack outpost along, hoping to do some splash damage, and yeah, does manage to take it out. Yeah, but still, he's throwing away uh, nuke battle masters, and I, I think they cost a little bit less than what outposts yeah. do, 700 instead of 800 or something like that. So it is a good exchange if you can kill the RPGs, but if you can't kill the RPGs, then it's not very cost effective. And we don't have any forward supply just yet. I thought we might have done, given the fact that. Whippix clearly has the map control. The uh, Battle Master won't really take much. Once yeah, again, Battle Master it. got thrown away a bit there. Looks like it will survive, but now it's going to get taken out by that gap. This is 
he's kind of throwing away units, is Whippix. I mean, yeah, he's he living is. in that new battle master now, but it looks like he's just going to die to the Helix. Oh, the mines, off. no, no mines. Let's clear some of those mines, which is good. So now the Helix has regenerated its health completely. It's going to be very effective now. Uh, returning to its full health, especially with the Vet 1, the prop tower, going down very soon. So I think Evo Lancer is going to have a very uh, happy time very soon. It's got a nice little unit comp now. I mean, that Helix is going to some, force some, like, gap builds that wouldn't yep. normally be there. I mean, he's taking garrisons, which means he can't really be <laughs> aggressive with the Helix. And with Sit the, Helix, the fuck down, sit Helix. Down, Go back Helix. to your base. Go back to your base and heal up for another five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we do have the. Yeah, it is forcing. What it's doing is forcing him to build gats. Yeah, that's true. Um, which is important because um we've got a lot of listening outposts here from um with evolution. The I reason we're stopping on names is our the game, our minimized game keeps again. minimizing for some reason. Yep, and now the bunker will definitely deny that uh, new battle master. Yeah, is a good, he's kind of throwing them away a little bit. I mean, Lancet has the map pretty locked down. The moment he's got bunkers and like outposts all over the place. Yeah, he should expand um, and actually get those extra funds rather than just throwing away units for the sake of it. Getting the old deck down with his Lotus, which is good, but I think uh, Evo Lancet is going to do the same thing rather soon, given the fact that he does have his prop center. Yeah, his Lotus comes out yeah, now. Yeah, Lotus is there, and we do have a command center coming down as well from Lancer. And this is such a huge army from Lancer. He has so many Gatlings, Outposts, and ECMs. Whereas uh, Whippix, though, does actually have an Overlord. So that could be very effective. But the ECMs could definitely shut it down and lock it out of the battle. Exactly right. We do have the Helix as well. So we'll see how that comes into play during this engagement. We do see the engagement is happening right now. We do see the, the Overlord is going to manage to take out one of the oh, ECMs. On. And the Gats are just getting thrown away a little into bit a here. They're way out of position. Their bunker is doing a lot of damage. Oh, that's not really good. That's a terrible exchange there for, <laughs> for Whippix. It's a bit unfortunate. He actually lost a fair yeah. few gats there to the bunker just being out of position. I mean, we just said, uh, we just said ECM and a Dragon Tank go down to Evo, from Evo Lancer. We yep. do have Lotus, again, uh, Lancers. Um, Lotus capping the top oil derrick. Excellent. So they're going to be back on uh, the same economy. There is a Overlord from Lancer, but his is a slow Overlord as opposed to the fast, speedy, nuclear Overlord. So that's always nice to see. Uh, very, very fast, cool, cool nuke stuff. Really uh, making use of their mobility. And uh, they're see, finally... I think, I think yeah. Lotus is up the top left now. The um, in Whippix's Ooh. Lotus is actually managing to run away and sneak past. Good thing there's no mines there yet. So yeah. she might steal some money from the supply, if not capture it. Yeah. There is actually um, the Overlords moving into the base of Lancer. There's a lot of outposts so well there defended. as well. Yeah, I mean, there's bunkers there as well, which is going to really stop the aggression. I mean, Lancer can push up, but Whippix pushes in. He's got those bunkers to deal with. And there's two bunker licks. Well, there's one bunker licks and another uh, licks there as well. So I'm not sure whether they might get a prop. Uh, yeah, I think there. a prop says more, quite likely. Oh no, we do just, another, we just have a bunker upgrade going down. Ooh. So it looks like he's going for a double bunker. It's very Helix aggressive. There. It's very aggressive movement. There, the prop in is good. Yeah, the prop yes. is good to have because then it means that you can um, you can really engage and then you can kind of back off, retreat, and engage again. Whereas having two bunker helixes means you have to be very very careful because if you take damage, it takes you so long to regenerate two helixes at a time, unless you have two airfield, that's not practical at all. And so now we have a third and a fourth supply for Whippix, so he definitely has the map control and the income, but yeah. Evo Lancer has a huge army like of this Lancer ground. Be pushing up now. There's a lot of ECMs as well, he's got three ECMs mixed in there as well as the uh, Overlord with the prop tower upgrade. Yeah, so basically uh, Whippix has to buy so many Gatlings Oh, that's a three helix. Okay, so yeah, now I think we'll be going for the helix, but we do see the command center being capped by Lotus, and that's going to force the cell there. Looks like the, the helix is moving in to take out the Lotus, but the Lotus will in fact cloak in time. But if a prop tower comes out from one of those, um, no, helix... no, a Gatling cannon will reveal, not a, not a prop center. Oh yeah, Gat, yeah, sorry, yeah, a Gat, Gat cannon will actually reveal, reveal the Lotus. You silly, silly man! I'm sorry. Um, I got my I got my upgrades confused. He might actually Lotus lose the war factory the though, as yeah, well. Looks like the war factory will in fact get capped. We we do have a gat tank moving in there as well if it gets there in time yeah now that i think oh. that might just shut down the lotus oh no not in time though the lotus will probably die though but i reckon we'll get the factory yeah, yes we'll get yes, the factory, factory is... not even getting the cell so now we're going to sell the factory Very getting those extra efficient. funds yeah if oh but the cell does not in fact go down in time but whippy's been unfortunate there yeah so i think um that's Whippix... a cost efficient lotus so definitely got a, got, yeah. a, got a command center and a war factory so hopefully we see another lotus come out as well from him now so now all uh whippy's is lance's lotus is done it basically captured all Derek and then ran away so hopefully Lance's Lotus can be just as heroic as uh, as Evo Lance's was uh, if, other way around and there is actually a new yeah, like there's, missile. Not, there's not very much aggression so far. I mean, they just really. got a couple of armies on either side I mean, and I mean it'd be interesting to see what happens with those I mean 
Yeah, we've definitely had the supply advantage down. He's really oh taking my advantage taking, like, two of those. That's a lot of that's helixes. Four hel that's a very expensive. I mean, he's trying to I mean, yeah, vanilla. If, he moves in, if you move in, what, what I'd do, if I, I'd move in my main army and take out all the Gatlings, and then, like, you, you just pretty much have free reign on the rest of the armor. But he has to be careful of the amount of bunkers that Whippix has just around the map. I mean, he's got a big one right there. Yeah, they're full. That could be yeah. very effective. Oh, this is, this is, yeah, that's doing a fair bit of damage. He's going <laughs> to get you down in matter. time. Doesn't even get matter. But what, the helix, that has the prop... Town does in fact their focus and doesn't go down, so that all he's got is three bunker links is now. Oh, here come the Gatlings! There's a lot of Gatlings moving now. So come, here come the Migs! Oh, the the Migs coming in! Oh, oh my god. god! There goes basically the entire ground army for Evo Lancer. The Helix is uh, doing a little bit of damage, killing the old Derek, so definitely worth it there. But meanwhile, there was also. A bit of an engagement in the middle from the looks of things. Um, where, oh, uh, they were Nuke Migs! They were Nuke Migs, and they took out the entire ground army for Lancer! Wow. wow, I can't have missed that. That sucks. Shit, oh. we missed that. Ah, oh, that's really balls. not okay. That was, a, that was obviously an awesome little exchange there with the new Meads moving in to take out the army of Lancer. But now we do see he's taking the garrison in the middle now, and the he has some Inferno cans as well, which can be really effective for taking out those bunkers at long range. And which... all of the RPGs as well. So, uh,. That basically bunker going down. The Inferno cannons are very good against buildings. They're not very good against ground army though, because they take a while to get the firestorm, and the couple bomb is coming in and oh, may even take out bomb. their army oh, there. Oh no! The uh -oh. couple bomb is coming down now. It, oh, but it's a bit of that, a little bit out of position <laughs> there. I think it was. I think they oh, were supply. going to supply go. mainly and didn't actually. Um, wasn't actually aimed at the units, but they actually managed to take down one of the gat, um, so killing, gat tanks as well. Yeah, so. killing that army was just an accident, but still a very effective accident. And there is actually a middle uh, mining from Evo Lancer now, so I think Whippix... Having... I want to see some new bigs, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Me too, I love new bigs. Having lost the supply and the old Derek, Whippix is behind in economy. Evo has his... Yeah, we see the new bigs moving in now. Looks like they're going to... Oh, we're going to go for the overlords, maybe. Oh, overlords. Oh, look at that new big. Oh, didn't did actually... you see the overlord do a backflip? I told the overlord do a backflip. Didn't actually kill them, though, but did definitely kill. I think it was an Inferno cannon now that Helixes are doing so much damage against these trucks. The Gatlings may actually catch them, but no, oh, the, no, the Helixes that's are on the ball. That's a bit of micro there with the Helixes has managed to move in and we will finally see Lance's Lotus get a bit of uh, time to herself to cap that central supply. Heroic work there from uh, Lotus actually getting the supply so now Whippix is behind in economy definitely. Uh, Evo Lancer is going strong but having those nuke MiGs and the nuke missile may actually pay off for uh, Whippix it has so already. Three, yeah, three minutes. And so here comes the nuke here. MiGs round number two. In now. <laughs> looks like he's going to actually take out those Inferno Cannons and the ECM. <laughs> ECM goes to go down, but it looks like one of the Nuke Migs may in fact, no. no, does in fact just survive. Those Nuke Migs are definitely paying off, doing so much damage against the ground army of Lancer. There's a lot of, uh, I'm not sure whether he has the um, stability upgrade, I'd say he would now put those Nuke Battlemasters in the middle, just to make sure he doesn't actually... Nope, he doesn't. No. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, we do see, he does not in fact have it yet. So uh, he could so go very backwards if they all very badly for him with one of those Nuke... Um, but here come the Hilixes, they will mop out those up the entire do a army! Damage and looks like if those new, there's, a, there's, a, there's a new battle master right in the middle of the splash damage takes out the ECM and the tank... Oh, and the Overlord goes down. Those Helixes just mistake. destroyed the entire army, but will they actually get taken out? Oh, but here oh, come the Migs! Oh, the Nuke Migs, oh, Migs takes out both of the, the Helixes. They are melting those Helixes. Those Nuke Migs are really important. If you can get them alive and if you can get his Nuke Missile off, they, this is definitely going with it. They're definitely way. paying off and getting the prop tower as well to regenerate the health on the airfield so they can attack very, very fast, not having to actually repair. So the Overlords are pushing out, but with no Gatling support, I think they'll get taken out by these Nuke Migs. Nuke Migs are all moving now, but it's going to take a couple of runs before they, if they want to take out both of them, so... Oh, we do see the Nuke Migs moving in now. Let's see what happens here. But we do have the ECMs are there. So this the oh, Nuke Migs will have enough damage. Man, there's just so many flips. <laughs> Jesus. Taking down all the ECMs and the Oval is not somewhere. But here comes oh, the Carpet Bomb. It's going to take out the Migs. No Migs, just as they're all cool. Get them out of there. Get them out of there, man. No, no way. No. All the Nuke Migs are going down. No. Oh, Nuke Migs. Four Nuke Migs go down. This is really unfortunate for Whippix. Uh, Lancer timing that just right. So he would get them while they were still refueling on the ground. Get that some right there. Back in. That is the worst thing in the entire universe, is when you lose all four of your vetted nuke migs to a carpet bomb. I've been there. I've so been sad. there. You've it, been there? It hurts. You remember uh, my um, CNCHD versus me and my nice uh, split I, cast? I remember the dual cast. And I just, I just felt destroyed. When my nuke migs went down, and I think it's going to happen. The same thing's going to happen. Without the nuke migs, I think Eva Lancer may actually be taking out the game, but he has another airfield. Oh, and that's going to take out the Gatling, but he's only got one nuke mig at the moment. That could be... 
The Which nuclear has missile be, uh, has a minute left until it will launch, so maybe he can hold off until he can launch that and take down the overlords, but still, the overlords are getting very, very close, and they may actually be able to snipe down the silo quite fast, but still, his MiGs are going to be a huge problem for him. The Gatling you do see him finally taking out that Gat just in time, and those overlords don't, in fact, have an upgrade, so if we can get another nuke meeting in there, he may actually manage to hold off the overlords long enough for him to get the nuke missile off. We do see the Arty Strike coming in now. Very nice, take out Arty Strike supply there. In there. Oh, we do see the Carbon Bomb coming down from Whippix, that's gonna save his ass right there. We do see him taking out one of the overlords. Looks like the other one will go down as well to the <laughs> unique beast. Oh, oh the ECM missed. is deflecting all the missiles. Gotta be careful, he almost killed one of his own MiGs. That, that could have deflected the other way and killed his own MiG. The Overlord may the actually take down both of them, like, though. Yeah, the Overlord is in fact gonna take down the MiGs. Does like, one of them may get off the ground? Oh, no, man. he does not. Yeah, that Overlord is pretty damn dangerous. The nuclear missile will go off in 10 seconds, but it's not gonna matter with that Overlord in Whippix's base. And I think so he's just holding off for a bit of glory to fire off that nuke missile, but I really don't know what he can do yeah, with that. See, it's ready now. It is ready. That is a uh, another bunker. Yeah, I'm not sure where he's going to fire it. Though. Oh, it's going down to the Gatling, though. That was not a very effective bunker. Okay, no, he can probably deal with that Overlord now, I think. If he can move in those, if he can move in the Gats and the... You gotta remember, there's no Gat yeah. Cannon, so he can't yeah. actually do a lot of damage against those RPGs on the ground. We'll kill the dozer. That's his last dozer, isn't it? Is that his last dozer? Oh, uh, no, it's the command center. Yeah, he's right. got a command center, that's, so that's he's all right there. And looks like he's gonna move that Gat, but the Gat is taking a lot of damage. And the RPGs are moving too. in now. Yeah, I think they're gonna actually manage to take out the tank hunters, and the tank hunters can't really do much now. No, it was Vet, because it's gonna regenerate its health with the Vet, especially combined with the propaganda center. So it'll just regenerate its health. The yeah, new missile I'm may really actually get, have to, might have to fire on the Overlord. But otherwise, um, the economy, even though it's going strong, he has his third and his fourth supply. And that cover bomb's coming in now as oh. well. Oh, this is... Oh, no! no it's going to take out... No, it's no! going to take out the nuke missile. Fire. <laughs> oh, the nuke missile goes off in time. But where is it going? Not actually no, killing the, the nuke solo. Where's solo it going? No, the nuke actually survives. I'm not actually sure where it's going to hit. Oh, hit up the top there. What did it kill? Uh, probably Dozer and like some other stuff. I'm not really sure. Maybe it was a prop tower. I think it was a prop center. Yeah, I think it was a prop center. Must actually, have launched it up there. But I think it's really going to matter at this point. I mean, uh, Lanza hasn't hasn't as a uh, sorry an Overlord in Whippix's base, and he's going to take out everything pretty yep. much. Vet two Overlord and middle supplies. I think Whippix has this. He can get nuke migs, but he doesn't really have enough funds. Lanza, Lanza, <laughs> come on, Lanza, take Lanza. him out of the game. And we also have uh, Lanza having his nuclear silo, so he can get his own upgrades, but he might even lose the Overlord to the nuke power plant. No, not really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> How much damage do you think they're doing? I don't know. <laughs> I was hoping like, they are the nuke ones. They're actually going to lose yeah, it. Yeah, no. oh, the silo will impact go down and with Come it, on, that's all, of, all Whippix has less. And we do yeah. see the two remaining bunker licks coming in. Uh, uh, to try and take out those Whippix. RPGs, and this is unfortunate now. Oh, it looks like the ECM actually... No, <laughs> obviously not, because there's... Yeah, and nah, this is... This is Pretty much going to be GG for Wivix yep. with the uh, new missile silo going down as well as the command center, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah those um, basically the nuke MiGs almost had him the game, but unfortunately not being enough. I think uh, Evil Lancer just had too much income. He basically had the middle supplies for far too long, and basically the moment he lost all those nuke MiGs, it was over. That's all Wivix had going for him was his nuke MiGs and um, only having the one airfield and having them rearm as the cup bomb went down. That's there goes Whippix from gone, the game. Completely gone, which is really unfortunate there. Um, yeah, for Whippix, because he did I mean he did have control of the central supplies for a fair bit of the time. Um, but we do actually see Lancer having more supplies collected than Whippix, which is surprising given we thought Whippix had the supply advantage for a, a in the early game. game. Yeah.